Okay, everyone. Um, I just wanted to share um, some excitement with you on this last harvest. I just was so um, excited about all the life that was in this worm bin. Um, I just wanted to share it with you. Um, one of the things that I wanted to uh, draw your attention to is all the critters that are in the worm bin. And also, I was just really excited about all the new little baby worms. I've gone through a major hatch in this worm bin. It's the same bin that I harvested from last week. And the week before I harvested last week, I had not been able to get out to the bin to, to feed and water on a regular basis. And so I'm not sure if you can tell or not, but the material is quite a bit wetter in this harvest than it was in the last harvest. And um, you can just see how much more life there is in in this particular harvest than there was in the last harvest and just the baby worms uh, were incredible to see all of those baby worms that are hatched out from the cocoons that we had um, in the material last week so I just wanted to <clears throat> draw your attention to this and sort of talk to you about how important it is to work on your whim worm bin continually um, on a consistent basis if you really want your worms to perform at their peak level. Now a lot of people have asked me, you know, do I have to babysit my worm bin? You know, is it okay if I leave it for a while? Um, can I go on vacation? Do I need to worry about somebody watching over my worm bin while I'm gone? Well, the quick answer to that is that the worms are very resilient. They can handle being neglected for a while, but if you really want your worms to, to perform at their peak, then you really need to take a daily look at what's going on in there, feed them, water them, and make sure that the conditions are optimal for your worms to perform to perform for you. And if you do that, then they are going to um, they are going to work very hard for you and they are going to replenish themselves and it's just going to be an incredible adventure for you. So I just encourage you, um, you can see here uh, the amount of worms that I got out of this last harvest. It was incredible. They were all up at the top. Um, it was just full of worms. Um, I had no problem getting as many worms as I wanted to. I could have gotten more if I needed them um, without having to work very hard at it at all. Um, the material is a little bit harder to work because it's wetter and for sure the the person who this harvest is being shipped out to is really getting their money's worth because there's absolutely no way to get those babies out of that material those babies are in the bedding material that's getting separated out from the worms and the worms are going to get weighed out at a pound and all those babies are going to go right with that shipment and so the the person that's receiving this shipment is really getting their money's worth I got about three and a half pounds out of this harvest without any problem whatsoever they're incredible I am just really excited and I encourage you to um, really get in there and take care of your worms on a regular basis and they will produce for you just like this and the product that they produce will just be awesome so um, I'm gonna sign up for now I'll see you again next time and have a really wonderful adventure worming okay ta-ta